I wanted to share a little bit more about Fade Away, which is the second song of our EP, This Feeling. I wrote this feeling about my brother and his illness, schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a debilitating mental illness in which the people who suffer from it, some of the symptoms are things like hearing voices or being delusional, or in some cases, negative symptoms such as being withdrawn and so on. Um, just to note that people who have been diagnosed with schizophrenia uh, with early diagnosis and the proper support and treatment and therapy and medication, they can go on to lead meaningful and productive lives as well. No one truly knows what you must be going through. There is a part in the song where I said, the lyric goes, no one truly knows what you must be going through. And the reason why I wrote that is because it's true. While we can intellectually understand the illness and we can say, yeah, it must be very scary and we can understand it. But uh, I think it's it, unless you have the illness, I think it's going to be very hard to, um, and those particular symptoms, it's going to be quite hard to understand the, the fear, you know, of like, when you see people, you think that they are like you know, menacing or that you hear people talking and you think that they're talking about you and you get paranoid. I read an article where this young girl, she was only about 15, she described how one day she left the house and she was waiting for the bus and the other people who were waiting for the bus started pointing at her, they were all pointing at her. This is what she thought they were doing. They were not pointing at her, but she saw them doing that. So to me, it's like, you know, one day you're perfectly fine and then next thing you know, all these things are happening, you know, that's just your mind doing these things to you. I think uh, it's definitely something that is, is a very scary illness and um, I definitely think we we who do not have it, we, we just can't understand. But at least knowing it, I hope that people will be a bit more empathetic towards um, you know, the person you see on the street who's walking around and he's just talking to himself or somebody out there who's like just shouting at nothing in particular. Yeah, just uh, to recognize that, yeah, it could be someone who it has a serious mental illness and to not, you know, make fun of it and to use very derogatory comments and things like that. I'm not saying go and engage or help or anything like that, but um, at least to have a little bit of empathy and understanding towards the illness. So when I wrote Fade Away, I you know, I just wanted to kind of dive a little bit more into presenting the point of view from the siblings. So most of the song, the bulk of the song really is about expressing empathy and um, feeling of uh, understanding towards my brother and his illness. Uh, there is one line in the song that says, in the beginning where it goes, uh, but hurt me no more now. And when I say that, it's not that about him hurting me, but it's about the illness and how it hurts us, the okay siblings. There is definitely, when you have mental illness in the family, there is definitely an impact on the family and if there's another child on the well child as well. And I know this because when I started Googling around for siblings of mental illness and I read some of the very authentic and, you know, very open statements that the siblings were making, I really felt like, yeah, that's, that's exactly how I'm feeling as well. We understand the illness we empathize and all that, but we also have a lot of issues to deal with. For not that it's our fault or anything, for the fact that it's not even our fault, sometimes we feel guilty. We feel guilty that we have an okay life or a good life and our sibling does not. In fact, in some cases, it's been referred to as survivor's guilt. So that's why I felt that you know, the song was written mostly from a very empathetic lens, uh, but it's also from the lens of a sibling. So I hope that um, whoever hears it, you know, especially if you're a sibling of a 
the mentally ill person that yeah maybe it will call out to you and uh, yeah you know that you're not alone <laughs> yeah and, and you know those feelings that people have uh, of guilt or resentment or even hate they are valid feelings uh, it's recognizing and accepting them and then working on it I feel that uh, throughout this process and you know when I went for therapy and everything one of the biggest things that I have to do is also creating that sort of like mental or emotional boundary to the situation and to not let it also swallow me and overwhelm me.